Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm here with the, the dog today. The dog's in the office. Why don't you poop? There's some scattering around and some fucking barking and, and whatever else he's going to be doing. That is the dog. We're getting some work done at our house today, getting the bathroom sorted out and stuff. So I've had to bring him with me. It's half eight. It's a Monday morning. And I've had a pretty nice chilled out weekend. It was my brother's 18th birthday. Um, got him some nice stuff. Went out for a nice fucking lunch with him. Um, and yeah, just been chilling. So today I'm going to be talking about the importance of profit margin. Um, because it's something that I'm always talking about. And it's something that not a lot of people kind of understand. I mean, people listen to what I say when I tell them to do certain things and then they still run and do the opposite anyway. So I think it's something we need to cover. But the importance of uh, profit margin. Now, as you'll probably know if you follow me on Instagram, I build, and Jay does the same, we build our stores around a 75% profit margin um, as a kind of minimum. And that's usually where we work from in terms of our profit margin. Now, obviously we use non-paid advertising methods, so we don't need to build that into the margin. We do always offer free worldwide shipping. so. Usually that takes a couple dollars off um, the profit you're getting because of the e-pack that you need to pay for and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, we always aim for a 75, normally up to kind of 85% profit margin. And on this new store that we built recently that Charlie's running, um, it's the same thing. So we're hitting about 75 to 80% profit on that store at the moment. And it's something that we always do and we always focus on and there's different reasons for doing so. Now the main thing to focus on with your profit margin is the more profit you make, the more money you make. Now it's funny how many people I see that actually make like two pound, one pound on each order. And they're happy because they're like, oh, I've had a 30 quid order. And it looks good and it looks big, it looks substantial on their app. But in the great scheme of things, they're seeing one pound of that order. Now, a lot of people are in that boat where they're kind of making orders, but they're not making money. Now, there's no point making orders if you're not making money because at the end of the day, you're just wasting your time. There's customer service you have to do. It's the marketing you've done to get to that sale and you're not actually reaping anything from that. There's no profit. You're not making any money. So the first thing I would suggest is not making one sale until your profit margins are set up. People say, oh, I want to make a couple of sales to begin with and then work the margins up and stuff like that. But... The greater scheme of things, there's really no point because the energy you've put into making that sale where you've made no money, you may as well have put into a sale where you've made 20, 30 quid. Now, um, that's a main, main focus is a lot of people just cutting right down their margins. They want to beat their competitors. They want to be the cheapest in that niche. And therefore, they're making no money on any of the sales they're making. Now, being the cheapest in the niche is never the thing you want. That couldn't be further from what I want to achieve when I'm building a store. I never want to be the cheapest in the niche because I always go off the premium angle. So charge high, you put this out premium, you put the premium branding out there, therefore you're making the profit to cover that premium feel that you're putting out there. So building a premium brand with solid social proof and high profit margins means that people will pay more for your product than if you've got a shitty site with a shitty like brand and a crappy Instagram, they won't pay anything. And that's when you have to be the cheapest on the market. But I reverse that and I do the complete opposite than being the cheapest on the market and I go for the high end side of the niche because I can build a brand to match the pricing that we're going for. Now, that's a very key point that this, there's no point putting up kind of watches for 200 quid or fucking kitchen pans for like 500 quid. If you can't build a nice website on a premium theme with a nice solid Instagram with the social proof and the engagement, without that, you, you lose it and therefore the brand looks shitty and spammy right from the beginning because you've got a shit website with a shit brand and then nothing ties together to build this premium angle that you're coming at. But if you can build a premium brand with a premium website, a really nice Instagram full of really good engagement and real social proof, then you can charge the high end of the market. You can charge more than your competitors. Therefore, you're putting more money in your pocket at the end of the day and you're doing less work because you need to make less orders to make that £100 a day profit or whatever your goal is. Another thing, guys, is this free plus shipping thing. People still ask me about and it's something that, something that I've never really done. I've tried it a, like a fair few, maybe two years ago now. I tried it and it was pretty shit. I mean, I sold, but once again, it's the margins. You make no money when you make a sale. You make like two, three quid. The stress of then the customer service on top of that. If I'm going to put myself through talking to customers, doing the marketing and wasting all that time, it's going to be for a big order. It's going to be for an order I've actually made money with. And you have to put the same amount of customer service in, whether you make £3 on a sale or 30 And that's what I've realised. Whether I've made £3 on this free plus shipping method or I've made £30 profit, it's the same level of customer service and effort that goes into making the sales 
and the after sales support with the customer service and whatever goes on from there. Now what you need to remember here guys is just to build a premium brand. Now within your niche, so it needs to be niche specific still, it doesn't have to be like this flashy amazing brand. When I say premium I mean high quality, nice branding, engaging Instagram, good socials and that's going to be what you need to build the premium brand which means you can then attach the profit margins to that and make more money for yourself. But it's really important to remember that it doesn't matter if you make £3 or £30, the same level of time and effort goes into keeping that sale. So you may as well invest it into making the £30 sale as opposed to making the £3. There's no point rushing the process of launching a site just to get products out there and not make any money off them because it's the same work ethic that will go into making a £30 profit sale. So build your profit margins effectively. Build a nice brand, it has to be a solid website with solid branding and then you can work off that angle and make the money that you need to be making. Um, so it's a really important thing to work on guys. Profit margin is everything because that's essentially what controls whether you're making money or not. I've seen people make 100k a month and they've literally made like £3,000 profit. It's ridiculous and it's, it happens. A lot of people are in the same boat that are watching this where you're making 5k a month but you're only taking home £500. It's because the profit margins are fucked and you're using paid advertising. So if you can smash down on not using paid advertising and you can also work at a 75% profit margin like me and Jay do, that's when shit gets exciting and it's a lot easier to run with and build more and build more because it's making genuine money. You might make 10k a month, but you're making 7 to 8k profit. So the difference is huge. That into consideration, go have a look at your brand, have a look at your website, see if there's anything on your website you change. Maybe invest in a premium theme. Maybe put your Instagram onto a growth service so there's more engagement, there's more growth, there's more social proof. Maybe you need to change your margins up after watching this video. But just go change something, make an actionable step to get one step closer to hitting that 75 to 80% profit margin. Um, and you'll thank me for it later when you make some sales. If you've got any questions on profit margins or how to price or how to find the right products and whatever else, drop it in the comments below guys. If you've got any other questions in general, feel free to drop them there as well. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe and you turn your, and you turn your post notifications on as well. Um, and that's going to be it. I'm going to try and control this dog, do some emails and then get on with my day. Back on the YouTube thing, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes this week. But yeah, much love for the support, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.